Hi guys, a very good morning to all of you. And see again, I am here to teach you SST Standard Four, Chapter Twelve. It's our history. So uh, I am here again to teach you SST Standard Four, Chapter Twelve. So we are talking about uh, history, and our history it has divided into three period: the ancient period, the medieval period, and the modern period. so now first of all we are talking about the ancient period and uh, in ancient period we have the indus valley civilization and the indus valley civilization it is also called the harappan civilization why because the harappa was the first city to be discovered from the indus valley civilization then after mohenjodaro is the important cities which discovered from the indus valley civilization the people of the indus valley civilization they they built a very well planned cities with a important building such as the great park in mohenjodaro and the granary in harappa so many more sources of uh, there of the ancient period like the seals poetry pottery jewelry these all are the remains things of the civilizations which which tells us that how the people they lived and how they used these all things then after around the 500 1500 bce some tribes they come from the central asia to india they are called indo aryans and the aryans grew crops and domesticated animals because they comes and they settles in the north india in this dancian period so they started to grow crops and they started to domesticated animals they performed open air ceremonies and sacrifice the aryans is what they performed the open air ceremonies and the sacrifice as the vedas were written at this time the period this period is also called the vedic age so please underline it from as the vedas as the vedas were written at this time this period is also called the vedic age as the vedas was written at this time this period is also called the vedic age so in this uh, period in the ancient period the vedas was also write uh, write writ writing so that's why that period is also called the vedic age the number of other books such as the epics like the ramayan and mahabharat and the Upanishads uh, were also written during this period. Dru during this ancient period, the epic book also was uh, were written like writing, like the Ramayans and the Mahabharat. These books tell us a lot about the people of this time, the an ancient period. These books, the epic books, these books tells us a lot about the people of the ancient time. powerful kings or rajans ruled with the help of the purohit or the royal priest and the senani or the commander of the army so with the help of book, book we can understand uh, we can know much more about the ancient period that the powerful kings or the rajans they were ruled and they were take the help of the purohit or the royal priest in the palaces and they take the senani also the commander of the army also to for the war next did you know is there we can see here when porus was captured and brought before alexander alexander asked him how he would like to be treated porus prom promptly replied as one king should be treated another king alexander was very impressed with this reply now means that when the porus it was captured uh, before the alexander is there then the alexander asked with him with the porus that how would you be treat how do you like to be treated from me then the porus replied that as one king should be always treated another as a king then the uh, then the Alex alexander was very impressed with the porus reply During this period, during the ancient period, there were a number of Janapads or small kingdoms in North India. So during this period, the ancient period, there were a number of 
जैन जैन पार्क स्मॉल सिटीज और स्मॉल किंगडम्स इन द नॉर्थ इंडिया लैटर मोस्ट ऑफ देम वर कंक्ड बाय द रूलर ऑफ मग मगाधा विच बिकम वन ऑफ द फेमस पावरफुल किंगडम्स इन नॉर्थ इंडिया एंड देन आफ्टर आफ्टर दैट सम रूलर्स ऑफ द मगधा देव ऑल्सो केम एंड दे ऑल्सो बिकम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पावरफुल किंगडम्स इन नॉर्थ इंडिया इन थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स बी सी ई एलेक्जेंडर द रूल ऑफ मैकेडोनिया इन ग्रीस अटैक इंडिया मीन्स इट इज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एंशियंट पीरियड सो इन थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स बी the ruler he is the ruler he was the ruler of the Macedonia in Greece he attacked to the India he defeated King Porus of Punjab but was very impressed with Porus bravely then he just defeated the King Porus of Punjab and he was very impressed with the porus because of his bravery alexander had to go back or uh, as his soldiers were very tired of fighting he died on his way home in 323 bc then after the alexander he had to go back to his home greece and because he were fight with very soldiers uh, fighting so in fact he was die also in home in 323 bc then after in 321 bc the chandragupta maurya become the ruler of magadha and he found a new empire the Ma- Ma- mauryan empire with the help of his advisor kautilya Kothi- later his grandson ashoka become the emperor after that the chandragupta maurya he becomes the ruler of magadha then he just found a new empire the mauryan empire and he take the help of his advisor which is called kautilya after that his grandson ashoka he become the emperor ashoka was a brave ruler he fought was he fought a war against a kingdom called kalinga the ashoka he was a very brave ruler he fought against the kingdom which is called the kalinga However he become so upset by the blood shed and loss of life that he died did not fight any wars after that after that he become very upset the ashoka was become very upset by the blood shed and the loss of the people of the life blood shed means the killing or the wounding of people usually during a fight so that's why he feel very he felt very upset then from after that he just decided that he will not go for war after that he embarrassed buddhist and helped spread in it india and other ancient countries ashoka got many rock and pillar inscriptions written and put up in different parts of his empire so that people could read his masses on them after that the ashoka he started to spread these all things to india and in fact to the other ancient countries and he get uh, many pillars inscription and he has written the that things that we should not kill we should not kill the animals in uh, we should not kill the people in the wars so he just started to writing that masses on the pillar and then after the many people they can read that masses from that pillar after that The Maurya the Gupta ruled over the India in the 4th and 5th centuries CE CE is like a common era They were very powerful rulers and India become a rich country under them After that the Mauryas the Guptas came then after the Indias become very powerful and very rich countries under the Mauryas under the Guptas rule ruler then after some historians call this period the golden age of ancient period so that's why the gupta has came and after that the india become very rich so that some historians they also call this period a golden age of the ancient period india art and culture made progress science mathematics astronomy and grammar also developed so on that is the art culture which was very progressed and science mathematician astronomy and grammar 
also developed in the ancient period till only one period i have talk, taught in history next the medieval period i will talk uh, teach you in the next class tomorrow till that take care of yourself thank you have a nice day bye bye